content security policy offers a alternative to X-Frame options and in fact is replacing X-Frame options as the preferred method for anti-framing defense. In order to stop cross-frame scripting and clickjacking, the site needs to prevent other sites from framing it. And X-Frame options originally covered this problem in RFC 734, but has been replaced by content security policy a few years later. Right now, browsers support both. The content security policy is preferred and is the future of browser-based security controls. It'll be replacing the XSS protection header, the frame options header, and other headers as well. The directive that replaces XFrame specifically is the frame ancestors. And for most sites, setting frame ancestors of none is the appropriate value. For legacy systems that are still using frames, they can use frame master ancestors with a value of self, which will allow the legacy site to continue to use frames, but prevent others on the web from framing them. We can demonstrate this. So in the file where we have our header configuration, we normally would set the X frame options as seen here. And this is the equivalent of frame ancestor self. To use the content security policy instead, we're going to use the header statement and we'll set the content security policy. We're going to give it a value of frame ancestors. and then that directive will get a value of self. So the overall syntax, if you'll notice, is it's just a space between the word frame ancestors and self. There's no additional hyphens or colons or anything. So we just put a space for itself. And then each directive in content security policy ends with a semicolon, even if you only have one policy. Once you save this, you can reload or restart Apache to load the value. We'll take a look at the headers using HTTP headers. And browse to the site. So when the site comes back, we have the content security policy, frame master, Ancestors self, and then we have a page that uses frames. So we can see that this domain, Matilda Local, is able to frame its own content, and that makes sense because we're using essentially compatibility mode or using the self, meaning that. This domain is allowed to use frames to frame its own content. So we'll try to open test.html. What it does is it tries to pull up Matilda inside of an iframe. As you can see, it says Firefox can't open the page and Matilda.local will not allow Firefox to display the page and so the defense is working. Ideally we would have set the content security policy to frame ancestors none, meaning no one can frame the page, not even itself. But again, if we have an older style site that's using frames itself, it would break the site to use the preferred value.